what is actually in the physical reality turns out to be nothing like we imagine it to be. This stuff is so fantastic and so interesting that anybody that's not interested in it probably just isn't interested in life. Because this, we're looking at the, the, the very process by which anything comes into being and we're getting somewhere with it. Not with wild speculation, but with developing the theory as we understand it. And what we find is an atom doesn't actually exist. It's elementary particles. Those elementary particles are actually potentials for existence. Time, space, and matter are themselves like popping in and out of existence. That's the cause and effect, you know, Newtonian Cartesian principle of external changes internal. But the quantum is what we do internally produces some external change. And when we can identify what we did internally, that produces some external change in our life. We are we're on our way. We've just flipped the coin. And now we're, we're at cause now. For me, there's, there's two different realities. The reality I experience and the reality that's out there. And what science is showing is that the reality that's out there is very different from what we experience. See, the thing about the physical world is it's a uh, sort of a self-defining structure. It appears real because we make it real. And because we make it real, it appears real. And so we should never wait for science to give us permission to do the uncommon. Because if we do, we've just turned it into another religion. We should go out and do the uncommon. And then have science come and study us and say, we need to upgrade our laws. So whether we're going to get to the bottom of it all, I don't know. But whatever that trip is, it's worth taking. We don't really know what it's like. It's a mystery.